Hi, it's Roger here with episode 16 of Entrepreneur TV. I am now here back in Bali. I am at Vision Villas. We are in the Fire Bali. And in this episode, we are gonna go through the 16th principle on how to 10 times your business, which is presence. Presence as in P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E -E. And this concept of presence is one which is so misunderstood because we think it's simply about being connected when in fact, it has a whole lot more to do with being self-aware. I'm gonna go through the three fundamentals of presence on this video and an invitation to come with us on the very, very first of the steps within the world game because presence is about showing up. So many of you have heard me say, show up, step up, give back, which are linked to self-awareness, self-mastery, and then self-expression. How we actually show up in the world is the most important first step. And as Woody Allen says, uh, Showing up is 80% of all success. Our ability to actually just even be where we're meant to be and be in the path of flow, as opposed to be trying to create flow where there is no flow. So what are the three most important elements, uh, the levels that actually create presence? It starts number one with your awareness of self, right? So this is about being really aware about where you're at, whether it is in the level of business you're at, whether it is what your passions, your purpose are. You've heard me talk about Ikigai in earlier uh, episodes of Entrepreneur TV as well. But if you actually start from that one first place, which is, am I actually really connected to where I'm at right now? It's like, it's like being, on, it's being on a car and going up a hill and you're in fourth gear because you were just zooming along and you suddenly become present to the fact that you're in the wrong gear, right? It's like if you're actually going to make a difference, you've got to start by downshifting into the right gear. Uh, it's like uh, being aware that there are people running around you and they're all trying to kind of pass you and you're trying to have a conversation and no one's interested and you realize it's because you're on a football pitch and you're meant to be playing a game of football and you suddenly become present to actually the game you're meant to be playing, right? So this very, very first step is about being present to you playing the game and being really, really aware on where you're at and why you're even here on this planet to start with as well. So obviously we've got all the tools to do all of that kind of stuff. I'm sitting here in our fire ballet now. So I'm just gonna grab a seat here uh, with our uh, beautiful Bali weather. I hope you can come out and visit us sometime here in the not too distant future as well. Um, and so this very, very first step, uh, which is the step on how do you make sure that you are really, really clear on the actual game that you're playing. Uh, that self-awareness comes from finding out what your purpose is, finding out what your passions are, finding what your talents are, and really, really being aware of how you connect all of those together in the most effective way for where you're meant to go in life as well. Okay. From there, you then get to the second level. And the second level is about going from awareness of self to awareness of the surroundings, or more importantly, the game. Awareness of the game itself. Many of you know we have actually just launched the uh, world game. Uh, the information, the details, everything is now all available for you. So you can actually go in, jump onto Genius U, and play the game as well. And I hope you do come and join us. We're seeing the rankings already. We're seeing people already stepping in and getting some amazing results out of the game. Uh, and of course, I have launched my 10 times your impact micro degree, which is free of charge to join, where I'm going through every single day, a step which is linked to everything I'm doing here on Entrepreneur TV as well. All right, so we've got 14 days right now. As of this, when I'm recording this, we're on day three. Uh, and so there's already three steps up there and uh, just go click on the link below and you can come join us on that as well, which would be awesome to have you on board. So that's our game. That's our game of actually having entrepreneurs around the world connecting with each other and creating giving impacts through buy one, give one to make a difference in the world uh, towards the United Nations global goals. And what's your game? You might have a different game in a different way. Your industry definitely has a game. The people around you definitely have a game and understanding what that game is, understanding the rules of that game and then mastering that game is a critical second step of what it is to be present. That presence then leads to the third step, which is knowing who you are, knowing what the environment or the game is that you're playing, it then leads to the third element, which is your team. It's the people around you, it's the interconnections. And so being able to actually connect to the right people at the right place who are playing the same game as you is absolutely critical. We've got a whole bunch of different events that are coming up. Uh, if you are in Europe, then look out for our blockchain accelerator that we're working with WeWork. We'd love to have you there if you've got a blockchain startup because we're gonna be giving away 100,000 pounds worth of prizes uh, to the winners. We're gonna be investing in the winners uh, and we're also going to be giving some incredible mentoring from the top blockchain experts. If you are coming to our 
Entrepreneur Summit, the European Entrepreneur Summit is happening in London. We just had the one in Brisbane, which was fantastic. That just happened this last weekend. Uh, having an opportunity to get connected to others who are playing the same game as you, uh, realize that you're aligned to each other, knowing that you have the ability to get the best learning, the best connections, and the best opportunities by being in those places as well, is really what it's all about at this third level of being present to team. Because you can't win the game on your own. And so we are gonna have the London one coming up this coming September, uh, and we also have got a number of meetups that are taking place that you find on Genius U as well. But whichever one of those events uh, within Europe that you can make, make sure that you actually see us there. And if you happen to be in America, we actually have our first American event this year, which is gonna be in Lake Tahoe. So come join us there in August. Or if you're in Asia, then we also have a number of events in Asia, which includes our master trainer training, which we're doing for the first time, our performance consultant training, and we've also got Exponential Entrepreneur, which is like our landmark event for being able to multiply the size of your business. And that's all happening in Bali this coming July. So whichever thing it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're looking at in terms of making a, 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 a goal to achieve over the next uh, uh, three months, whether it is uh, going out to make that impact, knowing being in that right game with those right team players is absolutely essential. And why is that? So I wanna give you a little concept just to finish this off. Uh, and by the way, everything I've just mentioned on this video, all the links are right here, right? Just go and take uh, one of those links. And I wanna finish with a story which is all about this why that we're talking about here and with my favorite statue, which the very, very first Entrepreneur TV uh, video ever, I shared about this statue as well. So I'm gonna finish there too. Uh, and it is this concept of the difference of giving and effective giving. So what's the difference of the two? Lots of people go out there and they say, well, I've given so much and I never get anything back. So I'm just gonna go and try and get now instead, which is obviously a crazy thing to do. Uh, but it comes as a result of not having distinction between the giving you might've done, which might've been the ineffective giving and the giving that you should be doing, which is effective giving. So think about it a bit like playing a game of football and uh, or even better, cricket, right? Like cricket, uh, in fact, I'm gonna go one for baseball, right? Like every one of these games, you've actually got a team on the pitch, uh, and then you've got people who are in the crowd who are the ones outside of the pitch, right? They're the ones that are not necessarily playing the game. They're spectators. So I remember when I went to watch baseball for the first time in America, and I was actually behind uh, the, uh, the pitcher, right? So, so, so like if, if there was a foul ball and it went into the crowd, uh, then well, guess what happens? The crowd gets to keep the ball. There's everyone there with their, baseball mitts, right, to try and catch the ball just in case it comes their way. So take that for a thought, right? If you are uh, passing the ball inside the game, inside the pitch, everyone is playing the game. Even the people on the opposite team will make sure the ball stays in, in play. But the moment you are passing the ball to someone who's not playing the game, someone who's watching the game, someone who's on the outside, the moment that happens, guess what? The ball never comes back again. So the difference of giving and ineffective giving is knowing what is the game and who's playing it. If you start giving to people uh, uh, who aren't even knowing they're playing a game with you, uh, you're giving to people who don't share the same values as you within a business, and then they go running off with your ball, they go running off with your money, then you can't blame them for the fact that they happen to be playing a different game. Just be really clear on who is playing the same game as you, who has the same code of conduct as you, and don't play with those others. And there's always a way to test to make sure that you've got the right people at the right place working with you as well. That's the most critical part of all of this. Um, so, so why am I sharing this? Because for many people, it's like, well, I don't want to give until I get, as opposed to realizing all the getting comes from the giving, provided you've got people around you who are playing the same game as you. So the difference of giving and effective giving is not what you're giving, it's who you're giving to. And that uh, leads me to this little guy down here. Uh, we have a bigger version of the guy, who's this guy here. We have a smaller version, which is the dude down here. And the main, main thing about this Sufi pose, uh, this is called the Weeping Buddha. You can see he's all kind of connected up down here. This is my favorite little uh, Buddha statue. We actually brought him here on the very, very first day that we actually came here to Vision Village, which is now over a decade ago. Uh, and you can see that all of the, all the uh, grass, all of the uh, bushes have all got uh, connected up with him. So he is totally present to himself given that he is closing off all of his uh, different sensors. You can actually see this one here, which is actually easier to see because he's a bit newer and a bit bigger. And you can see he's actually connecting up and uh, connecting to his true sense, which is the spirit, because 
he is closing up his ears, his nose, his mouth, all his senses, and by closing them all up, he actually is going from sight to insight. That whole concept of true presence comes by hearing your truth, like hearing your inner whisper. And so when you get tuned in and get connected in to that sight, that's a different kind of vision. It's not the vision that comes from your senses, it's the vision that comes from your knowing. That is true presence. And when you're coming from that space, then everything gets interconnected to where you, you are at. There's a great quote by Helen Keller. Helen Keller could not see, she couldn't speak, uh, she, couldn't, uh, 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 she, 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 she couldn't hear. Um, if you actually take someone who has lost all their senses and actually has closed everything off to get tuned into where they are, you get to a whole different space. Many people said she had an amazing vision, but it's a different kind of vision. So if you take that thought process, which is not sight, but insight, and you start from that place where you yourself are saying, am I tuned into my insight, to my intuition? Uh, then you're going to be at that place where you know you're coming from full presence. This is uh, like summed up in her quote, which is life is either a daring adventure or nothing. So with that thought, that showing up, that being present is a fundamental key to then be able to have that self-awareness that allows you to be doing the right thing that's right for you that is the key uh, aspect I wanted to bring into this video. So do connect with us at one of our events. Do join us on the World Game and I'll catch up with you on our next episode of Entrepreneur TV.